Nanotechnology is a fascinating new emerging area of science. Do the public know much about nanotechnology? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think there's a general awareness in nanotechnology in its revolutionary potential. Well, the cloud project is quite simple, really. It's, the idea is to seed clouds with nanoparticles that make clouds snow. But when the snow falls, it's flavoured as well, so it tastes of ice cream flavours. Our intervention was to make the science a bit more fun and a bit more accessible and kind of help people imagine what could happen. So Nano Week's really about trying to communicate two things. The first is that nanotechnology is really quite everywhere in everyday life. But also we feel it's quite important to highlight the role nanotechnology is playing in the economic success of, of Ireland. I think it was important to be here for one or two reasons. One, because I believe that nanotechnology and support for nanotechnology is hugely important. It's going to be the building block. The building block of pretty much everything to do with our lives in the future. I just hope that everyone can get an opportunity to engage in Nano Week because there are loads of events happening. Uh, and I'm delighted uh, that we were in a position to be here to formally launch uh, Nano Week. So nano ice cream, it's a process at the nanoscale that happen, that's been happening for years, but we didn't know it was nanotechnology. That's the nice thing about the ice cream. It's one illustration of what happens at the nanoscale, and that happens whether you fry a steak or whether you make ice cream with liquid nitrogen. So, if you want to make a nano ice cream, basically the process is you start with a base, um, so we're using yogurt, and then you add liquid nitrogen to the mix um, by continuously stirring the ice cream mixture. It freezes and the stirring kind of doesn't allow the ice crystals to grow large enough and because it's so quick they, they freeze instantly and they're really small and so the ice crystals are nano sized. But it's a fantastic resource that we're here in the Science Gallery. It's a hub for scientists and for people who aren't scientists to come and see how science is so important in everyday life. I think it's hugely important that we get across to students in second level that being a scientist isn't about being stuck in a lab and being a nerd as the, you know, the stereotype goes. So that's why it's so important to get them to come in here, see that it can be all energetic and the ideas that you can come up with can be crazy and wacky, but if you try and put them into practice that it can actually be beneficial.